हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू येट अनादर व्लॉग ऑन आर चैनल ऑल सेट फॉर यू टू ट्रिप दैट्स राइट दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी ऑल अबाउट आर रीसेंट ट्रिप टू द रेड स्टेट वाओ व्हाट अ डे वी आर लिविंग फॉर यूटा एंड इट्स स्टार्टिंग टू स्नो हियर इन पोर्टलैंड एंड इट विल स्नो इन यूटा व्हेन वी रीच देयर वी विजिटेड यूटा लास्ट मंथ ड्यूरिंग अ टाइम a winter storm warning was issued for many states across the US but since we had already planned the trip and had booked the tickets we did not want to back out in the last minute and despite the bad weather we had such a blast on this trip hi guys we are at the airport and we are way too early for our flight <laughs> yes we are why do you always do that dance bring it on yuta Guys, this is my look tonight. This is the airport look. Do you see what I have in my hand? But it doesn't take a genius to guess. This is sandwiches. 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 Yes. We're just waiting uh, for boarding to start, and we just got hungry. Every time we shoot a video, we are hungry. Yeah. We want to show hungry. you our love for sandwiches. That's why we are hungry all the time. So I stuffed these sandwiches with the cabbage fry. There's one more thing that we want to share with you, that we are flying first class, the first time. Yes. <laughs> And we are super excited uh, because we have never flown first class. I know it's not a big deal within the US, but uh, if you're traveling international, I know it makes much of a difference because that first class is truly first class. We got the first class fare, pretty cheap. Yeah. It was just thirty dollars above the. main cabin fare so we just thought you know 30 dollars is like something that you spend mostly in your check in baggages when you yeah. travel main cabin so why not just fly you know first class and get your bags checked in free let's hope it turns out pretty good Takes to be in the first class. We get free snacks. We have coffee and we have Tex Mix. And someone's editing our video. So guys, we are here at the Salt Lake City Airport. So after reaching at the Salt Lake City Airport, we decided to go directly to the carousel to pick up our baggages, and then to the rental car agency. to pick up our rental car By the way did you know that the Salt Lake City airport is huge It took us a long time to go from our gate to the baggage claim And so after reaching halfway through we decided to pick up our dinner on our way we are headed to moab uh, which is where the arches national park is and canyon lands is so we will be spending two nights there uh, mostly visiting around those national parks but uh, for now um, it is around 9 9:30 uh, we picked up our breakfast yeah uh, coffee and some pastries from this local bakery shop here it is amazing uh, yeah. we haven't eaten yet but we will on our way to uh, moab See you there. Southbound. The viewers should ask this question to us: Why do you have to show yourself eating all the time? Either sandwiches or something savory. Got to be a foodie. That reminds me. Follow us on Instagram for great recipes.
and as we were exiting the Salt Lake City, we noticed these beautiful mountains which although were covered in snow and clouds, they were looking beautiful. And somewhere along the way, we decided for a quick pit stop for this. guys we are in Moab and look at the background beauty so we've uh, we've stopped here for a quick bite before heading out to Aches National Park So guys, we found this amazing place, outdoor seating, to for our lunch. You see, there's no one here, so we're going to enjoy this as much as and possible. The weather is We are here uh, in the parking lot of uh, Delicate Arch Trailhead. So we're going to go on a three-mile hike, moderately difficult hike. I believe uh, it's around 400 or 500 feet of elevation gain. Nothing much. But at the end, we really hope that we could see a stunning view of the Delicate Arch. The day looks fine. Uh, it's a little windy, but besides that, I think it's still amazing. I kind of was under the impression that it might rain but it didn't so I'm happy about that. We will see the guitar picture. We are here. We will do this trail all the way to here and then come back to the parking lot. Let's do this. So we'll have to go here as you can see. A couple of tiny spots that's where the people are coming from. So guys one good thing here is that uh, it's not snowing. It's definitely not icy uh, as it was in Portland before we left because ice on the ground here would have made the hike a little tricky. But I would have liked some ice on the mountains. You wanted ice on the mountains? Yeah, some snow on the mountains, so like white, reddish mountains they would appear. Utah is a red state, right? Not just politically. <laughs> so Utah is a Republican state. But even besides that, uh, it's called Red State because it's, it has full of red sand, you know, red rocks everywhere, all around. There are like a few national parks here, 
one among them is the Arches National Park which we are at right now the other that we are going to visit tomorrow is Canyonlands that's also amazing so we'll show you the pictures tomorrow when we visit and down in the southern part is the Bryce Canyon Guys, we're almost approaching Del Catar. For a moment there, we had a rain scare. I was ready to uh, go uh, under the rocks if it starts to rain. <laughs> <laughs> and we figured that there are no rocks to go under. <laughs> Look at them. They're all straight up. No, like these ones on the side. So oh, like these ones? Oh, well. I guess that could be our only choice if it does start raining. Look at the cliff on the left side. Wow, this view is amazing. What do you say? And we are here. Right. Ah. This is the delicate art area. So beautiful, right? One can't get enough of this rock. So pretty. Absolutely. Although I would have loved a bit of sunshine instead of clouds here. I'm not gonna go too far. So you can see the steep drop. Amazing red rocks. Look at her. Always scolding me, 24-7. Why do you have to go to the edge of the rock? the other view from a different end of the delicate arch every bit of sunshine soak up the sun and subscribe to forever hum <laughs> now let's compare this hike to any one of our hikes which ones would you compare this hike with? Smith Rock. We did. Yeah. So there's one strange thing that we did notice on this hike was that a lot of people, I would say at least the majority of them, were uh, not wearing their masks. I'm not sure if that has something to do with the fact that there are not that many cases here. Nevertheless, you should be careful. But we are doing our bit. That exactly. is our we observation. Are, yep. We are still wearing our masks and trying to stay as safe as possible. Mask up guys. <laughs>
what I would do. I was just saying it's the wildest location I've ever been to. It's wild Utah. Wild Utah without the wildlife. Well, uh, I think every state in the US has something to offer, something beautiful to offer. Do the window spray off. Mm. Here, here. We'll do this loop, I guess, and then come back here. Oh, there's a double arch right down there. I'm so glad it turned out to be sunny now. The clouds are clear finally, and we still have like 40 minutes before the sunset. Wow, with the blue skies. It looks even beautiful. And then the shadow they cast over the other rocks. That's what it is. Right. So guys, this is the end of our visit to the Arches National Park. In the next video, we will show you the wilderness of the Canyonlands National Park and much of southern Utah. I think the north and the south windows are the best ones here. Are we <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you did, you know exactly what to do. Give this video a thumbs up, smash that bell icon to get instant notifications from our channel because you wouldn't want to miss the part 2 of this Utah vlog series. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and finally keep humming with Forever Hum. See you next time.